the 2020 Whiskey Whistle Canadian Whiskies of the Year. Hey, hey, my whiskey people, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg to Santa Maria, North America, bringing you my 2020 Whiskey Whistle Canadian Whiskies of the Year Awards. Super excited to present this to you. It's been about 18 months now since I've been back from South Korea, where I had lived for 13 years. And being back here, I've had the luxury, the, the pleasure of trying a whole host a cornucopia of all kinds of Canadian whiskies. And what a shock. Gone are these predispositions, these, these prejudging of whiskey here in Canada as being just sort of average. In fact, there is at least a dozen, two dozen, maybe three dozen whiskies on the shelf at the shop right now that I would be very happy to have here. You can see some of them peppered throughout my little uh, pseudo display here. Now, after trying all of those, I am super, super thrilled to have distilled that for you into a short selection of four whiskeys that I feel are exceptional. They should still be available at least somewhere in Canada. They may not be easy to get outside Canada, but this is what the whiskey fabric is for. This is what the whiskey community is about. It's about sharing. It's about sending each other samples. It's about buying bottles for people who just can't get something and shipping it to them if it's possible, if it's legal. Sometimes you can get it done even if it is not exactly legal. But, you know, you just have to try to give it a shot and risk risk the, the fact that maybe someone else is going to be enjoying that bottle of whiskey, but I digress. So let me present, first of all, my 2020 Whiskey of the Year winner in the category of Canadian Single Malt. We have a tie. <laughs> yes, we have a tie. And so hard to choose between these two. One of them, I was unable to get a bottle of it. That's too bad. But I was able to try it three or four times. I got a sample. I have a review coming. I haven't published it yet. I'm a little bit behind with my backlog of recordings. I've got about probably 10 things recorded that I need to get out. So what do you do? Anyway, um, let me show you the one that I do have and then I'll tell you about the one that I don't. So the first winner of the Canadian Single Malt Whiskey of the Year Award is this one. And beautiful dark color. That's a absolute polished oaky hue you can see for it yourself and amazing legs we'll talk about that in the actual review of this one delicious stuff now this has virgin casks virgin american oak casks a fairly standard malt i believe i think it's pale malt if i do recall i'd have to look back in my notes but just an incredible nose Big, big, big caramel, orange, orange infused caramel, and some nice soft vanillas. Delicious. And the palette. It's like cola balls, citrus, malty, juicy, mouth coating. Delicious. This one is cask strength and it's 58% ABV. And I think probably you know what it is if you're into Canadian single malts. Speaking of which, you may be wondering well, how many Canadian single malts can there be? In fact, there's a lot. There's probably already 10 distilleries that all have already released a single malt or are planning to. So I think we're actually a little bit ahead um, in at least in Canada a little bit ahead of um, even USA, I do believe. I think there is roughly the same. So we think about we're 35 million people here, getting up to 40 million, I think. We've got 10 distilleries making single malt. Pretty amazing. Anyway, so the first winner, the first tie, uh, what do I call that? The, the, the first tie... <laughs> The first co-winner of the Canadian Single Malt Whiskey of the Year for 2020 here on Whiskey Whistle is 
Two Brewers, release 18. Now, this is unchill filtered. It's natural in color. It says so on the back there. 58% cask strength and seven years old. Seven years old. Now, it's not on the bottle, but they'll tell you which cask it was, when it was filled, and then when it was dumped. And it's seven years old. Seven years old and some number of days. Anyway, so that's the first co-winner. And super, super thrilled with this. This reminds me a lot of Stranahan's in a way. Because of the virgin charred American oak. But beautiful. Mmm. Delicious. Now the second winner, who I cannot... Where can I put that? I'll put that right there for now. The second winner, who I can't, co-winner, pardon me, who I cannot show the bottle of, I'll have to tell you, um, this is the distillery, it's Shelter Point. Shelter Point, not this bottle, that's their standard single malt, which is excellent, by the way, and $60 here in Winnipeg. It is Shelter Point, double-barreled single malt whiskey, finished for 365 days, no, 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 335 days. That's right. It's one month less than a year. Finished for 335 days in a Quail's Gate Pinot Noir cask. This was unreal, chocolatey, delicious. From the first sip to the middle of the bottle, amazing. Everybody in the room at a little event that I put on here called the Canadian Whiskey Experience, hopefully will be reborn. Everybody in the room regarded this as the winner of a whole whole table full, a whole table mat, like a placemat, whiskey tasting mat full of whiskey. This was the winner. Anyway, it's 50% ABV. It's unchill filtered. There's no added color. Now, not that many bottles. Um, probably this is about a, a thousand or two thousand bottle batch. And this one, by the way, this is a 454 bottle batch, so it's very, very limited. These are the co-winners for Whiskey Whistle for the 2020 Whiskey of the Year for Canadian Single Malts. Well done. Congratulations to Two Brewers and to Shelter Point. Love these whiskeys. Now, there are so many other Canadian Single Malts that are doing great. Glen Breton, of course, the forerunner in North America for, for Single Malt. There's Eau Claire who put out some fantastic stuff. And uh, what's the other one that I've tried that uh, that I really, really enjoyed? Um, Laird, was it Laird of Fintry? I think that was the one. And um, one that I'm waiting to see how they've developed is from uh, Central City Brewing. And that was known as, oh, I forget the name now. I forget, pardon me. I'm looking forward to trying that again. And there's also new stuff coming out all the time. So anyway, the 2020 Canadian Single Malt Whiskey of the Year winners, Two Brewers and Shelter Point. I'll show that bottle for the basic. Shelter Point, not this one, but the Quail's Gate Pinot Noir. 335 days. We had the pleasure of having um, one of the, the family members involved in Shelter Point come out. And it was really great to have him. Jacob, Jacob Weeb, that's right. So we asked Jacob, Jacob, how come this is only done for 335 days? You could have waited a month and declared it as finished for a year in those Pinot Noir casks. And his response was, because it had hit its peak and we didn't want it to go over and start to decline in taste. So incredible, incredible answer. Awesome to know that they're checking every week, probably, maybe even sooner than that, to see how things are doing in their warehouse. Again, a big hand to Two Brewers and Shelter Point for your fantastic single malt. Well done. Keep that great whiskey coming. Super excited for you guys. You better bring your A game, though, because I think there is some fantastic Canadian single malt coming from the newer distilleries that haven't been producing as long as you have. Now, next up, we will have the 2020 Whiskey Whistle Canadian Whiskey Awards for the category of rye. After that, we will have the 2020 Whiskey Whistle NAS 
Scotch Whiskey Award. Following that, we will have the 2020 Whiskey Whistle Whiskey of the Year Award for the category of 12 year old and under single malt Scotch Whiskey. And lastly, the marquee event will be the outright 2020 Whiskey Whistle World Whiskey of the Year Award coming at the end. So stay tuned for all of those, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Make sure you check me out on Patreon, patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Jump in and support the channel and join the Whiskey Whistle crew. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the little link right over here and hit the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. Ding, ding. All right, sound good? Take care, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Goodbye now.